I'm Bhaskar Roy and I lead AI products at Workado. In this video, I'm going to demo IT Genie and how you can use IT Genie to address your internal help desk needs. What you'll see in the demo is how IT Genie can provide relevant answers by understanding the intent, contextualizing it through various knowledge bases and enterprise applications and understanding the role of the person. You'll also see how Workado Genie can collaborate with other genies to execute workflows end-to-end. -end. And finally, you'll see how IT Genie can take action, orchestrate an access provisioning workflow with human approval. So with that, let's see IT Genie. So I'm in Slack, uh, a product that we use internally quite a bit, and Workado Genie is an application here in Slack. The role that I'm playing in this demo is I'm a new employee, a new SDR, who just joined Workado. So I can start with a very simple question, like, hi, I'm new here, what should I do? Now, this is a pretty broad-based question, and let's see how Workado Genie goes about understanding the intent, adding context, and then providing the relevant and information back. So, as you can see here, a couple of things to note. One is, of course, it understood my name, but it also understood my role as an SDR. And the way it did that was, in order to provide the relevant information back, it went into the HR system, understood the role of that particular person, and then pulled the necessary information from the knowledge base. We use Highspot as our sales CMS, so it pulled information from there, and if they were summarized that information and if there were any deep links, it provided those links directly as well so that you know the SDR can take click those links and take those learning associated learning courses. Now, this is one type of knowledge retrieval. Now let's ask another question, which is which applications do I have access to? Now, this is typically not there in a knowledge base, right? So what it would do is it will try to understand the intent, but for context, rather than going to the knowledge base, it will go to the application where it can pull this information from. So in this case, it went into Okta, which is the identity uh, provider that we use, pull the information that this particular user or John Doe have access to and presented that information back. Now, one thing to note over here is you will see this small font text throughout the demo. And this is something that we have turned on for the demo so that you can see what AI is doing, how it's going about figuring things out or executing things. But in production environment, you can just turn this off. Now that I have this information as John Doe, let's see if I can get access to an application. So let's ask, can I get access to NetSuite? Now, typically, an SDR should not get access to NetSuite, which is an ERP that we use internally. Now, you'll see what Workado Genie, the process that it's going through, through the small text. Firstly, it realizes that, you know, it does not have the operating instruction to go and provide application access. And it found IT Genie as as the genie that it can hand over to, and it's specialized in providing various kind of, addressing various IT help desk needs, and it brings that IT genie into that conversation. A, a couple of things to note over here. Firstly, I didn't have to retype any of the information. As a part of the handover from Workado genie to IT genie, it provided all the necessary context so that IT genie could just pick it up from there. It understood that I'm requesting access to NetSuite, and then it prompts me to uh, for a business justification. Let's say run financial reports on my customers. Now, this requirement for business justification and the and the process that you'll see uh, IT Genie go through is completely customizable. So the first thing that uh, IT Genie does is 
It takes a look at that business justification, checks it against company policy to see if the justification is enough for it to provide access uh, to NetSuite to John Doe. But it came back saying that no, as per company policy, only financial roles are allowed access to NetSuite. But then it didn't stop there. It suggested an alternative, Sigma. Sigma is a dashboarding tool that we use here internally. And the reason it suggested Sigma is mainly because it understood the intent from here, saying that John Doe is looking to run reports. And even though I cannot give access to NetSuite, you know, we can give access to Sigma as a reporting tool. So let's say that, sure, um, that I would like to get access to Sigma. And now it Genie will go through the entire access provisioning workflow. And the way we have configured this workflow is that for every application access, you require a manager approval, as well as a ticket in the background for auditability purposes. So here you can see it's requesting an approval and here is the ticket for reference. So if I go to the ticket, there are a few things to note here. One is this is the email address of John Doe. It pulled in the information or the business justification that was provided so that the manager who's approving this has all the context as to why John Doe is requesting this and I can just go ahead and approve this. Now, even though I'm approving this from Jira, you could have very easily brought this approval workflow into, into Slack as well. So if I go back over here, you'll see that once it received the approval, basically IT Genie was listening uh, for approval for the ticket. Once it got that approval, it went ahead and then uh, you know, went ahead and gave me access to Sigma. So to recap, what did you see in the demo is this. One is there are a couple of ways of knowledge retrieval, but it goes and figures out whether the information that, it's, that the user is looking for can be provided from the knowledge base. And that was the first thing that it did. The, in the second case where I asked for, uh, you know, which applications that I have access to, it went into the end application or the enterprise application to pull information from there and present that information back to the user. You also saw the collaboration between genies where Workaro Genie realized that it's not the right genie to provide access uh, to applications. Hence, it brought IT Genie into that same thread in order to execute that access provisioning workflow. And then finally, you saw IT Genie taking action it went ahead, created a ticket in the background, and there was human approval required. It went, figured out, got the human approval, listened for those approval to happen, and once it got the approval, went ahead and provided access to Sigma uh, as the reporting tool. That's it for the demo today. Thank you.